If you kill my character, I'll never come back. Challenge accepted. So a few years ago, when we were still playing pre-COVID at our friendly local gaming store, we had a player come in and say one of the dumber things you can say when you first introduce yourself at the table. They sit down, tell us their name, and say, I'm going to tell you right up front, if my character dies, I'll never come back. I told that to my last DM, and my character died, and I quit. Well, fortunately for them, I wasn't DMing the table at the time, so they didn't die that night. My daughter, on the other hand, was running it, and she did accept the challenge. Now, to be fair, if a player comes in and pulls this kind of bullshit, I will kill them that night. Without a question, without a doubt, they're going to be fucking dead. And then I'm going to say to them, will we see you again next week? And I'll smile. My daughter, on the other hand, she we left. She's like, I take that as a challenge but I'll do it fairly. So it took a couple of months and he did die. And we never saw him again. Now let's be completely blunt here. If you're playing a role-playing game, expecting to never die, you're playing the wrong thing. Your character can die in every system made. If I'm being honest, if you're playing with somebody that's running a game and they've never killed a character in their entire time as a DM, they're probably not a good DM. They're not challenging you. They're not forcing your characters to realize that there are times when fighting is a really bad idea because you're going to get killed. Or that negotiating may be a good tactic rather than lunging forth to your doom. If we're going to be honest, bad DMs are generally what will create these bad types of players because they never put them into jeopardy. They never force them to think outside of, wow, we can face roll everything that we encounter. Let's fight, 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 kill, 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 murder hobo our way to loot Nirvana. In my opinion, that's not a fun game. It's not a good DM. And it's not a really great group of players. If that's your bag, more power to you. I just wouldn't want to play with you. And I wouldn't want to run a group for you. There's another group of people who will come in and think, if I die, I'll never come back again. That's people who just don't understand that the idea behind a role-playing game is, yes, you're adventurers, you're trying to be heroes, but there's still potential jeopardy in every combat that you have. As a first-level character, there should be a chance that those kobolds may put you down for the count. There should be a chance, as you get to the final boss, that someone or several of you might die in that final boss encounter. If you don't create jeopardy for the characters, there is no sense of accomplishment. There's just going through, killing, getting loot, let's play another game. You don't really create characters that play creatively by doing that. You don't force them to think. What is the best option here? Maybe not charging in and trying to murder everybody is a good thing because we may get killed as well. And let's face it, if you are a murder hobo, there should be powerful people hunting you down to kill you because you've become the bad guy in that world. But let's be blunt here. The biggest mistake that either type of player that is like that can make is to walk into a brand new game, not knowing a DM, and essentially lay down a challenge. And I'm going to say, as a DM, if somebody comes in and says, if you kill my character, I'm going to quit, you shouldn't be thinking, oh, I don't want to kill this character. I don't want to lose the player. Players are a dime a dozen, and you can find better players who are more capable of handling the reality of playing a role-playing game where you can possibly get killed rather than you having to fudge dice so that you don't lose an entitled asshole who probably shouldn't be playing the game. So look, if you're one of these types of people, number one, accept the fact that your character may die or choose another hobby. And two, 
If you're a DM that runs into these type of players, don't kowtow to their bullshit. If they die, they die. If you roll crits and they are fucking put down for the count, let them die. And let's face it, meet that challenge and see if they're serious that they're not going to come back. These types of players really, I don't know. They do it to blackmail you so that you feel bad about the possibility of killing their character. And you shouldn't. You know as a DM that character might die. There's, yeah, there's something you can do about it if you want to cheat or fudge dice. But there's nothing you can do about it if the dice go against them, they make bad decisions, and they perish. A player should be able to handle that. They should be able to come back with a new character and a smile on their face. Yeah, they may be upset that their character died. We've all had characters die. I mean, I've had so many die. I don't care if they die anymore. My first one was almost devastating, but I rolled a different class and everything was okay. I learned the hard way in first edition that first level monks really sucked. So I played something else and I played that character for years. I didn't quit though because... That would just make me a jackass to just quit because I couldn't deal with a creature that didn't exist perishing in a game. Anyway, if you're a player, don't be this type of player. If you're a DM, don't bow down and fear killing somebody who probably shouldn't be playing the game in the first place. Just play your game. Do what you're going to do. And if they die, they die. If they survive, they survive. If they quit, they quit. There are players all over that want to join your game, I guarantee it. You're not losing anything if you're losing what is essentially probably going to be a problem player. That's it for today. If you enjoyed the video and other content on the channel, remember to like and subscribe down below and hit that notification button so you do get notified when we're online streaming, either gaming, mapping, or doing whatever we're doing. Have an awesome rest of your day, and we'll catch you next time.